we've seen a president of the United States make up out of whole cloth an invasion, saying that there is an invading army of disease-ridden immigrants coming to crash through the southern border. He has deployed active duty assets of the United States military, and for them to be put down there for this nonsense is an abuse beyond description. The incitements racially, this is a campaign that Lester Maddox or George Wallace would have been proud of. We have never seen anything like it in our lifetimes in this country. And for Republicans to sit there and to point fingers, they want to point fingers, look in the mirror. Because two years ago, when Donald Trump came to Washington, there were three parties in the town. There was a Democratic Party, a Republican Party, and Donald Trump. The Republicans made the affirmative decision, one by one by one, to capitulate to it, to surrender to it. The vileness, the meanness, the cruelty, the dishonesty, the assaults on objective truth, the illiberalism of it, the assaults on our important institutions from the Department of Justice to the intelligence community, the politicization of the military. We're going to be in a crisis in this country, the likes of which was simply unimaginable two years ago, four years ago, at any time in our lifetimes.